Hello grade 9 science class. Welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson 12. This is the second last lecture of a unit. So if you made it this far, yay, congratulations. You're almost there. Uh, this is about compounds, elements, and molecules. Not in that order. I don't know why I made the title that way, but it is not in that order. We're going to start with elements. Um, regardless, let's jump into it. So an element is a pure substance made of identical atoms. Essentially, an element is like gold or hydrogen or carbon. They're all made of identical atoms and cannot be broken down in, into different kinds of atoms. So this is what we've been talking about so far when we write a Bohr diagram or we talk about boron, one of my favorite elements. Um, they're pure substances and can be, cannot be broken down. Uh, a compound or a molecule is made of different kinds of atoms. So something like water is not an element, it's made of elements. Water is pure if we only have water, but it's made of different kinds of elements stuck together in different ratios. So uh, compounds or molecules can be broken down into its different elements. Um, they are stable how they are. They like being how they are, like water, but they can be broken down. So a compound is made of elements. A molecule is made of elements. Uh, a pure substance is something that only contains one kind of matter, while a mixture contains two or more pure substances. So when we talk about um, salt water, we've got salt and water mixed together. Uh, salt is a pure substance, water is a pure substance, when we mix them together, they become a mixture. Um, both of those are compounds, and those compounds are made of elements. It probably feels a little bit technical here, um, and uh, there's a lot of definitions. Um, when we, there's about 10 million pure substances, but only about 112 of these are elements, and you can see them on the periodic table. Hydrogen is, a, is an element and a pure substance. Helium. When we have it in a gas form, is a pure substance and it's an element. Uh, but when we talk about CO2, it is a compound or a molecule. And if we have only CO2, it can still be a pure substance. Some examples of compounds. Um, so this is just a few out of tons and tons of them. Uh, baking soda is known as sodium bicarbonate and it's uh, sodium, hydrogen, carbon and oxygen all mixed together. A mixture of sodium, carbon and oxygen uh, atoms as well as hydrogen. So this is a compound or a molecule. Oxygen is just O2. It is only one element within there. So it is a molecule and an element. Oxygen is an element. Uh, salt is sodium chloride, NaCl, and it is a compound because there's more than one element involved. So it is a compound. Um, it, it depends on what the um, formula or what it looks like. So this is the formula, NaHCO3. If it's got more than one element in it, then it's going to be a compound. If it only has one element in it, like oxygen, then it's just an element. Some more examples would be sodium fluoride, so NaF. There's two elements here, so that's a compound because they are stuck together. Uh, some other household items, so vinegar is acetic acid, um, given here. Chalk is calcium carbonate, CaCO3, and ammonia is NH3, all combinations of atoms which make them compounds. So everything that we live with is a compound, the table is a compound. Um, I'd like you to remember maybe a few of these, you don't have to remember every single one of these, uh, but knowing a few examples of compounds um, would be ideal. So some uh, examples here. So the substance uh, is water. Is that an element or a compound? Water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. So it is a compound. So we would mark off that column. We have carbon dioxide. So that's carbon and oxygen. So again, that's a compound. We talked about salt being NaCl. So that's two elements. Again, that's a compound. Gold is just gold, it's just an element. So that would be here, an element, 
And silver, again, is an element all by itself on the periodic table. So it would go right here in the element column. Um, being able to recognize the, these is the most important, what they are, uh, especially if you're given um, the formula. If you're given the word, you might have to do some research to find out what the formula is. And if it's got two or more elements in it, it's a compound. The only thing that I have for you to do is to study for your quiz. It is the last quiz before the test. Uh, there is no your job for this lesson. Lucky you guys. Thanks very much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you soon.